everybody. spit on things, people write on things, they come in and say they'll pray for us. I don't control myself. <laughs> um, you know, it's like I said to you off camera, it's just, you know, we're sliding backwards and everything is just, um, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. You can't, you can't yell at each other. It's time, you know, the time has passed. We need a new way to solve this problem. All the people that have passed this. This in the past. Nobody conversates anymore. Like you, you know, you're I'm probably different about that. It's, it's a debate. It's always a debate on something. How many? 360,000 boxes. The Girl Scouts sent that many boxes. To where? To military people here in the States. Oh, in the States? And abroad. See. Did you say 365,000? Yes. Times 8.5 ounces. And like what we do if you take you some people just, some people just say here's a donation and we put all that money together and buy boxes and send them. I like the box idea better. Mm -hmm. I like giving something. Yes. They used to get like, uh, they used to get dog collars. Mm -hmm. They put them on the ankles, keep the fleas off in the desert. Wow. Yeah, see, you didn't know that. See, I, that's, didn't, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. I'll have to tell you what to do with that. You gotta be careful that spike is left on that corner there. I'll ask you, Bill, real quick, uh, what makes America great? Our military. That's a new one. Uh, people like us sitting here tonight. Just simple people. I wish Simple Man was playing on the well, jukebox. We really don't, don't ask for a whole lot. Because uh, we don't need a whole lot. No, you don't. Yeah. You just need a... If you got enough to survive, then uh, you're lucky. There again, I think that's the last part. I think that's due to our military because of our freedom. But, uh, everybody needs to join together and, and be whole again, like we used to be. <laughs> okay, like so that goes. That begs ago. the question: When was America great? Because you know, I'm bringing this from a political kind of thing. There so were, you know, there were many bright spots. <laughs> bright spots. I like uh, that. In history, I guess, that made America great. Uh, long before we were here. The history that I know back in the 50s was pretty good because the music I think brought people together in the 50s and 60s even. Uh, like Woodstock. Uh, that was up in my neck of the woods. And you had 200 some thousand people, man, and not one person was arrested. Man.
parents are, this generation just don't know the meaning of a dollar. They don't know the meaning of respect. Uh, How about, um, you know the term eating crow? Yeah. <laughs> I think we've all done that. Not all of us. Uh, you gotta eat crow sometime. Some people don't believe that. Well, you gotta Some people wanna move right to the sometime. top, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna tell you what, if you've never eaten crow, then you ain't living right. You ain't doing something right. You ain't trying to learn something. Because when you try to learn, you're going to eat crow somehow or another. Especially if you fail 15 times and on that 16th try, you get it right. <laughs> I, I still say I'm an old school guy. I'm a country boy. A lot of people call us rednecks. That's fine too. But we're the ones that give you our last dollar and you get our shirt off your back. What's the word neighbor mean to you? A neighbor to me is somebody that would help you without asking anything in return. Uh, Run into your house and save your dogs from a fire? Absolutely. Uh, you know, leave your key to them. Say, hey man, we're gone for the weekend. Here's my key. Uh, take care of my plants and my dogs. You can't do that anymore. You don't sleep with your windows open. You don't sleep with your front door open. I was just at a lady's house in Statesville. Not anymore. And I looked at her door. Busting the shit out of it. Yeah. And I said, What happened? It's sad. She said, Somebody brought I said, When? She said, Mildred, and this is a lady by a 56 year old woman by herself. It's sad. See, this is what I see. See, this is why I'm doing this, Bill? Because yeah. you don't see that. I seen that tonight. Well, a lot black of black woman who was by herself, grandmother. Yeah. And like, maybe like your wife, you know? Yeah. Great against everybody getting back and believing in the Lord, number one. Even though we're sitting in a bar drinking a beer, I don't. Well, Jesus drunk wine because that's what they had back then. I, you know, I. I'm not one to judge. Start being a neighbor again and uh, just helping each other out instead of trying to fight each other and be bitchy. And, uh, <laughs> all right, thank you all. Everybody make your rights together. We're all lives. Okay, we all live together. You know nothing about yourself or anyone in this room right now. Man, I'm a teacher. I'm a father. <laughs> <laughs> living for your pleasure. Okay. You know, like back in the day, they used to have you know, they had orgies, and then they had these, they used to have these feasts, and yeah. they'd lay down on yeah. couches, and the, you know, the servants would bring them food, or yeah. slaves, or whatever, yeah. and they'd, they'd go throw up. Yeah. They actually had a thing, they'd throw up. And, I mean, know. really, I mean, uh, you know, if I could rid the world of anything, it would be hate and hunger. Because I've seen videos of kids. In this country? Yeah, hell, it's everywhere, man, that's global. And what would you do for this country? Because we can't, let's fix the country before we can help the world kind of thing, like, is my theory. Well, same thing applies then. Because I understand it's a place that has less electricity, the Native American, Native American reservations, yeah. they're in a the shell. What would be the first step in that? Let's say water, or I think you said hunger, or homeless. Practice makes perfect. Every thousand mile journey begins with a first step. Having get two, the picking somebody that's different from you or it appears to be different, yeah, get the word out. and find out what they are like you. Because, yeah. like, I say, like, go through the show. Oh, darling. Yes. This lovely lady is from Haiti. Yes. You know, the blankety blank country. Yes. That one. The blankety blank. Okay. So Everybody makes I'll, up with Africa. So sweetheart, I'll Africa. ask you I'll ask you the question here in Greensboro at late at night here. Um, what's great about America? What is great about America? Mm -hmm. What do you think, honey? Is the freedom that you guys have. Because freedom is very important. In a lot of countries, we don't have that. And that's coming from a third world country. But what? can make America great? That's the next country. The next question. Yeah, what can make it greater? It to make its its freedom really be free for all mm -hmm. and for everybody to have the freedom to be themselves and not be afraid to live in a country that's free. If America represents freedom and other countries have came together and understand how to like deal with genocide and prejudice and racism 
why can't America do that to be great too? Don't you think America should lead the world in that because we are like a multinational, multi-ethnic country? It, it should lead the world, okay. but it doesn't. That's my opinion. Yeah, it's, it, should. it should definitely. It should be like lead. an example, like a good parent or whatever. Exactly, or because good. America teaches how to be original. America teaches how to be an entrepreneur. America does not systematically place you anywhere, but. So where are you from originally? You got a little bit of an accent, it's not Boston. Huh? <laughs> my, my accent um, sells me away. Sells me away. Your terminology sells you away. <laughs> Gives you away. Gives you away. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love that. I'm from Uganda. Oh man, that's the tough one. Yeah. Fuck man. I, I, dude, I really feel for you people, man. Yeah. You're a refugee? Yeah, I'm a refugee. Yeah. I'm, I'm like a, a legal resident, something like that. Call it legal residence. Yeah, my bus driver's from Puerto Rico, and I forget that that's a state. Yeah. Not a state yet. No, I don't want to buy it. I'm just, I'll tell you what I'm doing, dear, real quick. Deserts, they cross in very dangerous rivers. Lost. He got lost in Mexico. He lost his um, he lost his coyote. The guy, the guy that guides him up. Say it one more time, slower. Slower. Stop. One, two, uh, uh, three, three, one. No. <laughs> I mean, just <laughs> we'll be here all day, man. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. One. Uh, bonjour to. Bonjour is too? Yeah. That's also hello. Well, well, hello, hi. Okay, three. <laughs> Trey. Uh, hi. Hi? Yeah. For three? Oh, I thought you were high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four. Well, for what do you want? What do you number want? four. We're doing the numbers. I'm trying to learn my numbers, dude. Like a baby. I know, Philippines. Did you say Philippines? You know Philippines too? Yeah, <laughs> But not, not too much. You know? <laughs> more than me, more than me, sir. And my girlfriend, Filipina. Yeah. I think it's Filipino. Filipino. Not Filipina. Filipino. Filipino. <laughs> With Filipino, an O on the end. Filipino for girl or for man? Oh. Filipina. Filipina, Filipina for woman. Like uh, Filipino, amigo, amiga. Eh, eh, you, Filipino. Right. Me, Filipino. But for woman, si. Filipina. No, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. Love. Oh, you might, you might all you need is love, love, love. Love, love is all you need. Love is all you need. That's all you need. All right.